Jessica from goodenoughandstuff.com. Let's make this pumpkin. Just when I think I finally found it, those memories come crashing down. Oh, you think I would. <laughs> so I did lose my voice and I did the voiceover like this as well. So hopefully it's not too painful to listen to. So I can't sing or anything. Ooh. <laughs> oh, Christmas tree. Oh, Christmas tree. <laughs> you just gotta use this voice when you have it. Let's make this pumpkin. You've probably seen these fabric pumpkins everywhere. They're one of the simplest decorations you can totally make yourself using whatever you have lying around the house, and they come together so fast. Start out with a rectangle of fabric. I'm using cotton, but you can use felt, sweater material, burlap. Really, the sky's the limit. Sew the short end of the rectangle together with right sides together. I'm using upholstery thread because it's thicker and less likely to break when I'm pulling on it later, but just use whatever you have on hand. Keeping it turned inside out, do a running stitch along one long edge, then pull it tight and sew it closed. Now turn the fabric right side out and stuff the pumpkin really well. I'm using polyfill, but you could use fabric scraps, a towel, old socks, like whatever's soft. Next, fold the raw edge of the fabric in and sew a couple of stitches to secure the end. Then do another running stitch to pull the top together. You can stuff it some more if you feel the top feels a little bit hollow. Oops, my needle disappeared. Darn it. Found my needle. Then secure it with a few more stitches across the top so it's closed. Mine ended up being a little bit open, but I covered that up later. Um, some tutorials then you have you use the thread to go around and make the little bumps like that so that you have it attached here and then you stitch it through here then you go to another spot and make another one like that i feel like that's a little wimpy and it's gonna break really easily if your kids start throwing them around so i just gotta cut that off and not do that i had some twine i don't know where it went to make the segments of the pumpkin you can use any type of string i'm using yarn but i've used embroidery floss and twine in the past wrap the yarn tightly around once and tie at the top then several more times and you can wrap the yarn around itself at the top if you want to change directions make adjustments to the placement as you go then tie together again at the top. You can make a bow at the top or just make a separate one and glue it on. Harvest some fall leaves from your other decorations, then glue those to the top of your pumpkin. Now go on an adventure and find a stick that has just the right girth to it and saw a piece of it off. I just spent 20 minutes sawing this little chunk off of a branch someone dragged home from uh, one of our walks. And then I just sanded the edges so that they were a little bit more flat. And that was a sweaty 20 minutes in our Texas fall garage time. My goodness. So now I'm just gonna glue it to this and that's the stem. And then I could glue this to it like that if I wanted. I feel like it looks kind of dumb like that. So I'm not going to. And that's the whole pumpkin. Isn't it so cool? Here's one I made about seven or eight years ago with twine, and it's a little worse for wear, but still cute. And here are a couple of the kids made all those years ago too. The second one used dark embroidery floss for the segments, and it just kind of disappears into the pumpkin. This one I actually bought from Walmart a few years ago. It needs a new stem, but you could totally and easily make this by gluing three pumpkins together. Super easy. This took so little time that I made a second pumpkin out of felt and cream yarn in the same morning. Isn't it so cute? because it's really easy and it's really fast. That is my jam. I have seen some people use cinnamon sticks for the top. If you're making like a small one and then you end up wanting to cut that smaller too, I think that's a cool idea because then it smells like cinnamon too, which is great. But if you want to make a big one, it seems kind of weird to have a little tiny skinny cinnamon stick sticking out the top. So I prefer the actual stick. And then there's a little bit of nature inside your house. So that's great. You can check out my website, goodenoughandstuff.com. I've got recipes and tutorials and fun stuff. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye. Where did you go?
It's probably um, one of the Gross. giant ones. Ew. But yeah, the super worm. I push it down. I bury it. Oh, Scorpio, somebody grab it. Hey, I'm gonna grab it. Mom, don't crush the salad. Just embrace it. I look ugly. That's what you're saying. That's what I'm saying. They're almost gonna swim. He's falling asleep in the Legos. <laughs> <laughs> oh, weird. Somehow it's like a double reflection and I can see it on the reflection part. It's too windy, so yeah. Hi. Oh, is it too windy still? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so yeah. Okay. 